Pull me back! <laughs> Johnny! Get come on! Oh. 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 Are you OK? Yeah, it's not a crash, it's a zoo. Carpet, muzzle your children, muzzle them! Oh, my God! So that's coming out of your wages. Uh, what way? <laughs> Good point, Grant. I'll tell you what, perhaps, perhaps we could get a clown in. That might keep them quiet for the show. Hold there, hold there. No clowns. What's no wrong with clowns. clowns. They're too disturbing. However bad those kids get, they do not deserve. Clowns? No. <laughs> a clown? Uh, gives me goose pebbles just thinking about it, Denise. Does it? Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just get on with the show and hope that they can calm down a bit. Does it? Okay, here's what we've got for you all this morning. No, breakfast. I'm from Somerset. Does it? Uh, <laughs> in a couple of minutes, we'll be launching our daily assault on the papers in a paper review. Fine. Does it? Yeah. Is that? And then at 8.20, Richard Bacon arrives in Doorknock to get the inside line on the Christmas of the year. The christening of the year, sorry. The Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. Does it? Does it? <laughs> You're right there, Dan. Madonna and Guy won't know what's hit them. So, Is it? That's it. <laughs> at 8.35, there's a holiday in Florida there uh, for t uh, taking part in our corpulent competition, Yanks for the Memories. Oh, yeah. Can I say to you, you that, does it, does it, that is the last time uh, Yanks for the Memories will ever be on. Really? That's it, it's over. With this the is the very last morning. We say goodbye to the Lard Burgers. Oh. They get their plane home this morning. Oh. Bus! We've got all the news from the good old US um, with Joe Reitman and we'll be getting a house call from Holby City star, the lovely Lisa Faulkner's going... Hey! Hey! Joe, those kids are becoming intolerable, ladies and gentlemen. That noise is driving I, I me really insane. I really can't concentrate. What with that and the producer in my ear? I know, well? I know. We're going to have to make more noise than them, gang. Come on. <laughs> stories on Thursday the 21st of December. Hostages stumble out of the jungle, Rocco to get his head wet and five go mad in Dublin. Confusion surrounds two British men who survived a nine-month hostage ordeal in the Colombian jungle. Paul Winder and Tom Hart Dyke, both from Essex, have been hunting rare orchids when an unidentified armed group captured them. No ransom demand was made. Last week they were freed and left to find their way out. We were in the jungle and had to walk for eight days until we came across a park ranger station. Dozens of Dornock locals will join Madonna and Guy for today's christening of their child Rocco. The lucky few will not just get to see Rocco's head wet, but hear Sting sing at the ceremony. More guests are arriving for tomorrow's big day, Madonna's sister wearing the reddish coat, and her brother-in-law in the hat clearly heading to the right place. Today's the last chance you'll get to send first-class cards and parcels in time for Christmas. The Royal Mail had asked us to get cracking early because of the rail crisis. However, they're confident your festive greetings will be delivered on time. Richie Neville and Jay Brown from the Boy Band 5 will appear in court in Dublin this morning, charged with public disorder. They were arrested last night when a fight broke out in a bar. Brown is also facing a charge of assault. The boys were apparently being harassed. Here's the sport. Big Spenders Leeds have snapped up another striker. Irish international Robbie Keane moves to Ellen Road on loan from Inter Milan for the rest of the season. United will then have the option of buying him for £12 million. Alan Sugar is selling a share of his 40% stake in Spurs for £22 million. He's had talks with a sports and leisure group led by a Tottenham fan. It says a further announcement will be made as soon as possible. That's the breakfast news. Simon's at the house with the weather.